Oh, that's weird. Okay, um, hopefully that should fix itself. Okay, there we go. Um, welcome to my playthrough of Aftershock for Quake. Um, this is an unknown expansion pack made by uh, Head Games, the same people who went on to make Quake 2 Juggernaut. Um, now there is a playthrough of this game already on YouTube. Um, it's by uh, one of the original developers. The recording quality is so bad you can barely make out what's going on. So I'm going to play this game and we'll see what happens. Um, and I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. Okay, so Aftershock for Quake. Okay, you're on your own now. Good luck. Let's not do nightmare mode. Normally they hide the nightmare mode somewhere. Let's just do normal. This path selects normal skill. Okay, hmm, teleport. These must be the episodes. Step into the transporter to start episode. I missed that. Episode 2, Corrupt Mischief. We don't want that. We want episode 1. This way? Episode 1, Dark Terror. Well, here we go. Let's take this guy out. Oh, but he's seen me now. Yeah, taking out an ogre with a shotgun is not the best idea. Oh! Now, I have played this before once, just to kind of see what it's all about, but it wasn't really a proper playthrough. I thought, I may as well save it for uh, an LP. Ooh! Um, from what I can remember, though, it, this level's okay. I mean, that looks quite good. That little torch thing. Um, some of them are really not quite so good. Uh, this game was probably made on quite a strict time budget. Because obviously, in fact, most Quake expansion packs were released on tight budget. Simply because, well, I've only got two shells left. Give me some ammo. That's one. Um, oh, perfect. Um, most of the Quake expansion packs were released on quite a tight budget because they wanted to get them out before Quake 2 in uh, late 97. So you tend to find that barring the official expansion packs, um, the two main retail expansion packs, you haven't seen... Oh, zombies now, I don't even have a shot. Let's go this way. Sorry, a uh, grenade launcher. Such like. This is really good out because I go around them. And I'll stick with the zombies actually because I don't fancy fighting an ogre with such limited oh. and a fiend I mean come on have you heard of like a nail gun or something oh he's stuck look he's jumping too high we oh no I'm in the lava that's not cool give me the health that's not cool I mean they basically just jumped me down there that's pathetic and we're right at the beginning again. I mean, you know, it's the first level I understand, but give me some ammo and guns for this. Don't make me fight zombies when I don't have near access to the weapon I need. Okay, well that was a bit of a disaster to start off with. Maybe that will characterise the whole game. I have absolutely no idea. But yeah, I think the best levels for Quake are the ones which were at least beyond that time level. you know, some of the unofficial ones, um, Nahara for example. I want to play Beyond Belief as well, I hear good things about that. Um, maybe that will be a playthrough. Okay, so I have the key, let's just go this way, let's, let's see if we actually find another... Right, okay, I have three shotgun shells. Anything here? Oh, grenade launcher, right, finally I actually have a weapon to my name. I'm just kind of scarce, which is what I'm for. Okay, I have toyed with making a Quake expansion myself, and a while ago I uploaded, uh, sorry, um, I downloaded rather, Worldcraft 3.3 um, with a Quake converter. Just to kind of see what it was like. Okay, let's wait for those ones to resurrect so we get more kills in one shot. And then we'll save it. Because... Oh, no point in... See, that was a trap that was. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. 
fuck with it. Wow. And two zombies which have resurrected. There's another go down there, wasn't there? Whoa. I believe that boat goes somewhere. Jumping was never a quake. Forty. Does this go? No? Oh right, okay, there's a button. So I got to hurry up then, don't I? Let's save it first of all, because I have visions of falling in the lab and dying. Um what I might do is Oh I can shoot it, okay, that's easier. Yeah. Okay, let's go in this lava boat then. Oh I'm pushing the guy's head, look. Ah, oh, there it goes. Um I'll try and do an episode per playthrough, depending on how long it takes. Uh, most quick episodes, sorry, quick levels tend to be quite short. Oh, okay, this is not a very good place to be. Series of things, really, the first level is really challenging. I mean, maybe not for a great bet. I'm hard to Oh, great, the boat's gone. I hope it comes back. And I have 37 health. Mind you, I do have the gold key now. Um, so we just wait. Ah, here it comes. But yeah, so um, I might try and develop my own level for Quake. I have somewhat attempted to do stuff. Um, to do a start level. Oh look, there's a secret area. Let's go there. I can hear a teleporter as well. But we better save it, because we know what happens if we don't. Okay, so this boat should go back the way again. And we'll save it. What's this level called? House of what? House of Desolution. Okay. My question is, am I allowed to like just jump through? Where did it? That wasn't there. Ah. Oh. I'm convinced that there was a secret area. Well. It just seemed like there was a area of light. Well, I can do this to find out. Ah, there we go. Ah, rocket launcher. Nice. Okay, so we have the gold key now. Gold key, gold key. That's this way, isn't it? And we can use this to deal with the fiend. And he's dead before he even, he even gets to us. Whoa! Really challenging. Let's see. Was there any health packs back here? Or did I just... How do we open these? Don't know. Okay, well. So they probably had three different guys working on three different... Um... Ooh. There's some... Okay. The good thing about robots is at least kill them, hopefully with two grenades or rockets and throw some more. And you get more back. Except for when that happens. When they get within kids. I never find it with Gib or Jib. Ouch. That's not good. Most core quarters ogres is not a good thing. Yeah. Looks like it. Yep. Two secrets out of four, but all enemies killed. Whoa. This looks like it was done in a tutorial. This level. A big box. Yeah, some of the... I don't know how I get that. Some of the levels... Can I do that? I'm not rocket jumping up there. I don't have any... Well, I assume we have to go this way. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, there's water. How did that happen? Well, at least we can get up here. Go any further? No? I don't understand. What do I have to do? Or does it go as far? Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a, a big box someone just created. Fish. And so 
Ah. Let's take this here. But yeah, they obviously didn't spend much time on architecture. So, oh, we can't just make it a box. We'll put some kind of grid thing at the top just to make it look like this detail. It might seem that I'm slagging these guys off, but um, I can understand they had time constraints. We've got to balance whether it's worth it, though. Is it worth building an expansion pack given the limited time? I mean, this could have been made in a couple of months. I prefer uh, quality over quality. I'd rather have less maps which were better. Okay, there's nails, so hopefully there should be some sort of a nail. Oh, key. What's this level called? Darmac. Huh. Oh, okay, so you've given me a shambler to fight. The gates have opened. Wow, let's save. Oh, let's just leave the shambler alone. So that's those gates out there. Is there anything I can use to defeat it? What's that? That looks like a secret area if I ever saw it. Yeah. Ah, nail gun. Right, well at least I have something to fight it with. Nail gun's not the best thing. You know, I kind of prefer the super nail gun. Or the thunderbolt. A rapid fire weapon is the best thing to take. The shot. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Still catching me with these lightning. You can always get him into a lock using the double barrel shotgun. Let's try that. So you do that because it's too short a distance from him to use his lightning, so he tries to attack close combat. Whoa. Okay, that's bizarre. So we have to save because that looks like a jump that would end badly. Oh, great. Yeah, put on one of these Whoa! What happened? Did I just. Okay. Let's try that again. That's pretty darn dangerous. Is that a yes, it is. Oh okay. Thank goodness it's not all lava. That's arm that's worth getting. Oh, okay, it's time bomb, okay, well it's just very nice and so when, as soon as it gets to its max position, we can jump. Yeah, there we go. And we'll wait for it to come around another time. Quite a neat little environmental thing there. Whoa. Okay. Too many square rooms, though. I mean, Quake 2 Juggernaut, from what I remember, didn't have that many square rooms. Uh, do we have that key now? Yeah, we do. Wow. Well, let's just use... Ooh. What's on this side? One thing I like about Quake is that when you do that, check how many enemies you've got. 18 out of 25, you can kind of guess how far through the level you're at. Wow, there's a secret area if ever I saw one. Again. Ooh, Thunderbolt. Nice. Okay, well, that's a good anti shambler weapon. Oh, there's a death knight. This is a bit of a level as well. Yep. That's that level done. And this is dagger. All stuff beginning with D. House of Desolation, Dharma, and Dagger. That looks like it's... Oh, I thought that was the... some sort of trap. Are these all custom textures? Oh, never mind that. Let's just kill the I don't know, some of these... No, that's definitely not a custom texture. piece of trivia for you is... Um, Quantum Axis, who developed uh, Shrak and then Malice for Quake, um, were so scared of getting uh, sued by EA 
sorry, EA, what am I talking about? EA are the ones to sue at the moment. Um, I don't know why that came out. I mean, id. Uh, that they didn't include the textures. Oh, there's a key. They didn't include the textures on the CD pack. On the, C on the CD. So what they did was they got a guy to develop some piece of code which post installation loaded the id1 textures into the Shrak file. Um, I don't know if they did it for Miles, but they certainly did it for Bob. Oh, they certainly did it for Quake. For uh, Shrak, which was the first expansion, really. The first expansion for Quake. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Give me some health. Unfortunately, the reason this level is challenging is not ouch, because of um, enemy placement or you know, challenging environments, it's really more just because lack of health. Which is kind of unfortunate for me. Okay, I'm not going that way. There was a gold key somewhere. There's a door for it. It's enough of a small door. Anyway. Lots of uh, Thunderbolt ammo. Anything up here? Can I get up here? Well, there's nothing there to get, so... Plenty of Thunderbolt stuff. And I see, is that, yeah, the stairs there, look. Um, so yeah, Shrak didn't have the official textures on it because they were terrified of getting sued by it. This game, however, did, so I'm just wondering if, like, you need a seal of approval from it. Something official. I don't know why they were the ones that, that did it, had the textures, and yet Quantum Axis didn't. Anything on this side? No. No hell. Terrible. Okay, well, let's save. Down here. Fiend. Mm, let's use this gun. Oh, that was close. It looks like you're going to fall. Oh, nice. It looks like you're going to fall through these pieces, but you're not. What's the point in that? It's so just a detail, nothing behind there. But yeah, these look very wide, these gaps. I just keep thinking I'm going to fall between them. What was that? Oh god. 1% health on this. Wow. Oh great, now I'm going to get squashed. I have no idea what's just happened. Where am I? Oh, okay. There's the pentagram of protection, I'll have that. Not that I really need it because there's no enemies, but anyway. So I have no idea just what happened there. I was going to get squashed and then I didn't get squashed because I got teleported. Well, let's go and get that health back. Remember the health back there, the mega health? Was, my goodness, we need it. Um, and there's a fiend on this, but it doesn't really matter because... Oh, that's why we need it. Right, well that was useful. So, how do we get back up again? The stairs, isn't there? I mean, some of the design is quite nice, I guess. They could have thought more carefully about it. I, th I feel the problem with uh, head games is not their design skill or lack thereof. I just feel they just didn't get enough time to build these things. Nine enemies. Wow, there's only nine enemies in that level. Ah, this is the one in the demo. Bang! And this one is called Fire Sirocco. Okay. This looks like kind of a techie level. This was the one in the demo. Oh. That's just what I want to see you right here. Bang! Is that? Oh, it's just lights. Uh, up this way. Take what you can. Kill as many enemies as possible with the quad damage before. Uh, thought I was going to get a last kill in there. Oh, no, nice. Ogres are a real pest. Oh, that looks like something. A ring is nearby. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, that's activated the. Thing. Is that? Right. Not particularly where I wanted to go, but 
I want to go here to get the invisibility. So we have the Thunderbolt again, and nobody's here to attack us, so let's take out these guys. Now, see when I shoot one of them, do they all automatically know where I am? I think so. well, this guy certainly doesn't. Right. That he must have got the fright of his life, running towards some random invisible enemy, and then he just suddenly appears. Oh, well, there's a board, okay. These things are the game, as anyone who's played the main great game knows, because this is when the game really begins. You get chased by one of the floating orbs. There we go. You've got to make sure that you run past something that gets into its path. Hmm. This way? Yeah. I'm just kind of following my nose here, but it seems to be working. You must make a leap of faith. Well, not before I mean save of faith. Oh, nice. There are more to go. Oh, okay. It's funny they just disappear. The door has opened. But where? See, that's quite nice. I mean, they've done some okay detail. Is that like a death pit or something? No, it's not. Where is the door? That's my question. Here? Find here? No? Is it this way? Hmm. And this was just a teleporter. Okay, so it must be back then. I mean, I'm presuming it's back. Back this way, down here. Down and round. That's where the wind tunnels is. Oh, there's a armor that I don't need. Okay, uh, what's in here? Oh, nice. Okay, well, there's fish. I hate these things. I think I'm standing on them there. Is this the place that went open or is it just a secret? No idea. Oh, that was the end of the level, so that must have been the way down, okay. Well, that was episode one done. Um, I'll get into episode two and then just save it, and you can join me in part two of Quake Aftershock. Uh, I'm going to pick normal again. Before we do that, what's in here? Anything? Nah. It'd be nice if they had some sort of secret here. But anyway. Okay, well, I'll just go into number two, episode two, which I believe is here. Corrupt Mischief, yes. So I'll do that, save and join me in part 2 when we do the second episode of Quake Aftershock. This is Lizard Jean signing out.